Although chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma have similar characteristics, such as the signs of coughing and wheezing, they are two very much distinct conditions. We spoke with Dr. Werner Carr of Teva Respiratory in Mission Viejo to find out the differences. COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, COPD. And that is a, a chronic disease uh, characterized by inflammation and airway narrowing in the lungs. And it's a result of exposure to noxious gas. And in the U.S., that's pretty much tobacco smoke. And we ask him to tell us exactly what is asthma. Asthma is very similar in certain ways to COPD, but there are some key differences. Asthma is a, one of the most common chronic diseases of the lungs, especially in children. And it's a combination of airway narrowing and airway inflammation. And it quite frequently occurs in people that have allergies. So asthma and allergy goes hand in hand. And in fact, allergy can be a huge trigger and driving force for the development of asthma. I like to call asthma or COPD these types of diseases, uh, the, the quote unquote Rodney Dangerfield diseases, because they just don't get any respect. But they should get respect. And the reason is, is up to 11 people a day can die from asthma in the United States. So it's very important at the first sign that your asthma or COPD is flaring that you take your rescue medications and you check your lung flows. In asthma, we call it a peak flow meter. And if those are abnormal, at a certain level that you've decided with your physician, you should seek immediate medical attention. Either call your doctor, go into the urgent care, or if it's severe enough, you may even have to dial 911 or go to your local emergency room. There are a variety of different tests that we do uh, to define people's lung function. And each test is just a piece of the puzzle, but they're all very critical pieces of the puzzle. The test that we performed earlier is called a pulmonary for lung function test. And uh, the type that we did is called spirometry. Blast it out. Push, 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 push. We're measuring airflow and capacities of the lungs. Those will be decreased in patients that have asthma and COPD. If you imagine what these patients actually feel like, what's happening in their lungs is that air is getting trapped in there. And on top of that airway trapping, they're trying to breathe. So to do a little exercise, if you will, take a deep breath and hold it, and now breathe in and out up here. Do that for a few minutes and see how you feel. And now imagine trying to run up a stairs or chase after your child, or go across the parking lot, or put your groceries away. And now you can see what it feels like to have severe COPD or asthma. And the medicines we have available, they will open up the airway, decrease that inflammation, and in some patients, maybe even return lung function to normal or near normal, so they can have a normal life. There is actually a very good website available that has been brought to us from Teva Pharmaceuticals. It's called fluandasthma.com. And this website has a lot of the same things that I've discussed today in there about asthma, what the disease is, COPD, what that disease is, and influenza, and even cold viruses, and how those can serve as triggers, and what patients should, should do in the event that they get a flare. It's a very good source of information.